Hey folks, Anthony Special here with Hawkeye Traders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to share kind of one of my practices that I do in the morning. So when I come to the trading terminal and I'm getting all set up and, you know, getting my charts up and running, one of the first things I typically go to is just scanning the overnight. Is there any clues that have been left behind by sessions that have opened and closed while I was not in attendance to the market. And sometimes there are. And if you can find these clues, you could perhaps have, you know, foresight to what the day is going to bring. Well, the NASDAQ yesterday morning um, happened to be one of those mornings where there was a clue left behind uh, from other sessions that trade our market. And I want you to look very, very specifically at this Hawkeye wide bar printed at 3.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So that's New York Seaboard Time. All right. We had, for that moment in time, the highest selling volume, okay, the entire overnight session, all right, with a super strong reversal candle. What do we call this? We call this a red top. All right, so from right here, what transpired? Am I gonna try to buy the market that has been unsuccessful in retesting or penetrating that red top? The entire balance of the session sold off, okay? Now, I'm not suggesting by any means in my next few statements that anybody was awake at 3.30 a.m and happened to short the market at this exact instance. So please don't take it as that. I'm just simply showing that volume and price action left a clue, right? The market leaves clues if you're in tune to seeing them, saying, hey, from this point on, I don't see things going potentially any higher. It would be a challenge to overcome that red top based on how high the selling volume was for the period of time, combined with an ultra high volume radar dot and a Hawkeye wide bar in the formation of a top, okay? Guys, 1,550 ticks the NASDAQ fell from the print of that red top. Again, please don't take it as I'm suggesting that anybody perfectly entered at that time and perfectly exited at the low. That's not what I'm suggesting. What I am suggesting is from any point on beyond that clue that was left for you to find, you had the, onsite to, the insight to know, I don't think I want to try to buy the NASDAQ today until we overcome that 3.30 a.m. high, right? Unless something gives us a clue to suggest that We've placed a bottom and now we're gonna to push to retest it. But if you notice from this point, we set another lower high, another lower high, another lower high, another lower high, another, barely a, a little pullback, another lower high. In fact, another lower high here before we really kind of double bottom. And this is into the closing bell. Like this is late in the afternoon. So it was a day to look for what? selling opportunities based upon the clue that was left for you to take a look at before you started trading. I tell my traders all the time, look left. There's a storyline if you're able to identify it, okay? The market will leave you clues. For us, the simplest, most predictable way to have a leading indication of what price is likely to do next is understanding the relationship between volume and price action. Our Hawkeye tools make that extraordinarily easy, as you can tell. Our Hawkeye Mastery Library allows you to access hundreds of hours of instruction on how to do this. All right, so if you're an intraday trader, and this applies to all time frames on all markets, on all the platforms that we support, you should always be looking at the overnight and saying, has the overnight session, 
right? Because there's the London session, the Asian session, there's other sessions around the world that trade our market. Did they leave us any clues? And in this instance, a very significant clue was left. All right, guys? So what I'd like you to do is go below this video, click on the link, watch the training webinar, okay? It's, it's more in depth. I'm gonna talk much deeper into understanding the relationship between volume and price action. Because once you understand it, you're gonna have the aha moment I had and went, wait a minute, I don't need 1,500 indicators on my screen. I just need to understand what the volume and price action is telling me, and then I can make educated decisions based on the evidence of what has been left behind. All right, guys, and I want you to have the ability to do that as well. So go below this video, click on the link, consume the content, Take out a piece of paper, jot down some notes, feel free to email us, ask us any questions you have. We want to put the Hawkeye indicators in your hands. We want them populated on your screen. We want you to have the opportunity to access the Hawkeye Mastery Library. We want you to be able to dive into understanding the relationship between volume and price action so that when you go to trade on any time frame, on any market, on any of the platforms we, we support, you can simply take a look back at prior price action and go, has there been a clue left that could give me foresight to what may come next? More often than not, there is. You just need to know where to look and how to identify and interpret it, which we and our indicators are going to help you do. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you being here. God bless and have a beautiful day.